Let's go, let's go, go! Life is full of obstacles. For Canyon High, Coach Jessica Hare has been leading the girls' varsity basketball team into battle. Good, keep score, rotate, let's go! Since 2014, racking in multiple league titles and playoff appearances. But last year, Jessica started to get constant headaches in which transpired into something more after going to the doctors. They go, yeah, you need a CT scan, you need this, that, and the other. Yeah, they call me like probably 10 minutes later and said, you need to go to an emergency room. Your brain's bleeding. And my entire left side of my brain was full of blood. After being rushed to the hospital, the doctors diagnosed her with brain cancer at the age of 38 when they found a tumor in her brain. And the next step was... I had an awakened craniotomy, so I was awake for eight hours because you have to... Uh, you got to make sure you can walk, talk, speak, jump, and all those things. I think I was in the ICU for five days or so. I walked the next day, which is pretty amazing. I had 40 staples in my head. Through her passion of the game, Jessica would befriend her team, creating friendships that would last beyond her players graduating. When I first found out, I instantly started crying because nobody wants to hear that happen to anybody that they're close with. It was, I've been, like, me and Aaliyah, like, we've, Everybody's been through her through this whole thing and like we try to be her biggest supporters But like, I'm so proud of her for just getting through it. That's not easy. That's not something you just go through in your day-to-day -day life like She definitely is she's a warrior. She's so strong. She's always been hard on us, and it's only made us better So it was really hard for us. I mean, I've known her all my life and it was something that just it struck us out of nowhere and it was hard But we knew the type of person she was and we knew she was gonna fight that is yours. That's who you never get. For the moment of her diagnosis, Coach Jessica was not going to give up without a fight. In this very gym I'm standing in, there's no better support system than her student athletes. And then most importantly, the community itself of Santa Cruz. Because I think for the longest time, I'm, I'm, a hard, I'm a hard coach, you know, I get on them. And um, I, I felt the love. I felt the love from my staff. I felt the love from my coaches, from my kids from my family, everyone. Like, I mean, people flew from other states because they thought it was gonna be the last time they saw me. While going through radiation and her ongoing treatment of chemo, Coach Hare will be continuing to fight this battle to the end. You know, my constant words are, you're gonna get through this, let's go. Reporting from Kenya country, I'm Kawa Kawamoto. One, two, three, family! Four, five, six, Kenyan! Kenyan.